Hi everyone, welcome into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly, and today we are featuring the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. I have a new sidekick yes. stepping in for Mr. Paul Friedlander another, today. Yeah. Where are you, our dear friend? <laughs> Kara Graham is joining us, and she is responsible for setting up our great shows here that we air once a month at WeBeam TV. Today, we're coming right out of the gate for you with some help with Dr. DiStefano. Welcome into the show today. You have Florida Spine and Injury Center, and I was talking to Doc here just before the show, and he was really giving me some great bullet points and very approachable bullet points when it comes to educating your patients. So tell us a little bit about you growing up in your hometown here and uh, just where you're coming from with your philosophy on chiropractic. Sure, sure. Uh, thank you for having me today. Um, yeah, like I said, grew up in the area. Um, Moved here very young, and growing up in the area, it was playing baseball at West Pasco Little League, and then uh, eventually going to high school at River Ridge Middle and high school as well. Um, growing up, I was very passionate about baseball, but unfortunately, I was injured a lot. Mm. So, my personal philosophy is that there's not obstacles, just opportunities. So, I turned the turned the education and the experience of dealing with different injuries, some major, some minor, but turn that into a passion for helping others. And that's what I like to pursue in my own clinic now. Um, I like to give people tips and um, education on, on how to prevent and maintain their wellness once they go through a course of treatment. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you're um, working with patients who have had maybe car accidents and falls and different things like that. and. That is really something that I think anybody that is watching today that maybe has had a fall or injury, you're going to definitely want to call this doctor because, you know, chiropractic, I grew up with chiropractic. My first car accident was when I was 19, oh. and I've been a chiropractic patient ever since I truly believe in the philosophy. For anybody that might not be familiar with chiropractic, can you just give us an idea on how the spine works and what happens when we're out of alignment? Sure, sure. So whether someone's coming in for just overall wellness or for an injury. Um, first off, we're going to identify what the issue is and what may have caused it and then how we're going to create a specific and customized plan for them to get well. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, our spine is our foundation and everything stems from there. Your nerves control everything in your body. So if we're able to make sure the right muscles are firing correctly, the right bones are moving correctly, then we're able to function well and function at our best. So uh, basically over some time, once we start some treatment, we'll be able to give someone the tools that they can maintain their progress, although know enough to when they need to get some extra help. Yes, and that's very true. We know when we need to come in for an adjustment as a, as a chiropractic patient. I know that personally for myself. So um, the other thing that you were saying is that you, I, I, lo I love education mm -hmm. because this way you go home as a patient and there's things that you work with your patients that they can do at home to help your job as well, right? Sure, sure. So uh, in our clinic, we not only have chiropractic services, we also have um, rehabilitation so that we can give people specific stretches or exercise. And then we also have a medical provider in our clinic as well. So we, we have an all-encompassing approach so that whatever that individual needs, they'll be able to walk away feeling more of being empowered instead of just um, feeling sore. So we want to give them tools and uh, we'll give people custom plans and, and homework essentially to uh, keep them well. I love that. What do you think? Um, you know, I have a question. Sure. I had somebody ask me yesterday something along the same lines. You were telling me on Friday that you went to school in, in Tampa, is that? And But you started a practice in Tampa or you worked there, but you came back to West Pasco. So tell me about why you chose you know West Pasco to come back and welcome to the chamber by the way Thank one you. of our newest members we're excited about that but tell me about that because we have um, we're growing and we have people that want to come into the community asking you know what's bringing you know everybody here mm -hmm. to sure. be a part of us sure um, like I said growing up here and moving here from New Jersey in, in grade school um, I was able to see the great growth that's occurred in our city yeah. and then uh, after graduating from chiropractic school and I was in um, Orlando for, for my undergraduate at UCF. So after doing a lot of traveling and moving around for some years, I uh, was an associate down in uh, Brandon and St. Pete for the last four years. So okay. uh, great experience there in the same clinic for that whole time. And, and yeah. even though it was bittersweet leaving some of my patients there, it was, it was time for me to go after my own passion and, and uh, 
looking at a location, it was, I was had a lot of encouragement to come back to where I grew up, and I, I couldn't be happier. I've seen more and more changes and growth uh, every time I drive around town, and um, I, I love to have the opportunity to help people in, in the area that are hardworking and just need some, some help and that want more of a natural approach to their health care. And that's becoming more and more prevalent. Um, the integrative approach is what I'm hearing at mm -hmm. your clinic. So you do injections and rehab. And did I understand you say that your wife is involved with you as well? Yes. So um, even though she'll, she might say different, I am the boss there. So <laughs> <laughs> she, she probably will hear this. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, but you know, her, her specialty is being a physician assistant. So what she's able to provide is some faster acting relief. There's some patients that are injured so, have such acute injuries that they're not able to tolerate a whole lot at first. We like to ease our way into the treatment if need be. So um, she has some, some natural based ways of, of providing medication to certain areas that are not destructive or anything like that, but it helps get faster results. I see, I see. And I think sometimes if we aren't educated that um, a chiropractic experience, sometimes depending on who you do go to, mm -hmm. can be a little challenging. Sure. Just based on what you said, because oh, we've been in a car accident or we're under a whole lot of stress, can that throw the body out? Very much so. Mm -hmm. um, what we found to experience is that there's different stressors mm -hmm. that it can occur in our life, whether it's physical or chemical, things of that nature, or an, or an injury, um, but there's a right place and time for everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I've said to a lot of patients that if I have a um, someone's grandmother on my table, or if I've got a 25-year-old athlete on my table adjusting them, I'm mm -hmm. going to cater that treatment to them or a child. There's, there's a right time and place for everything, or sometimes people uh, just need more of a different approach. So sure. my goal is to give someone the clear-cut decision of what's going to help them, if not guide them in the right direction of who would. Right, so there's no cookie-cutter approach. You said uh, earlier on before we started the show that you customize, and that makes a whole lot of sense, right? Because Absolutely. Because everybody's going to get different results. Sure. Uh, we're not claiming to cure anything here on the show, mm -hmm. but I love your approach with this because I think it is the wave of the now and the future is integrative is truly integrative and being a chiropractic patient since I was mm -hmm. 19 that's a lot a whole lot of years ago and three car accidents later mm -hmm. first right. thing I do after accident not that I want to have any <laughs> on a regular basis but is get to my chiropractor sure and um, the other thing that you were saying too is it well the exercises that you teach them to do at home mm -hmm. can you give us just like a quick little sample or idea of what we might be able to do at home because sometimes patients may not have their own self-confidence. Sure, sure, that's understandable. Uh, one of the most common things that, that we all incur now with technology is sitting too much. Mm. So with that, staying in the same position for long periods of time creates tightness. Mm -hmm. So some simple things as far as, uh, some people ask what exercises to do, things mm -hmm. like that. I just posted something on my Facebook page of uh, pretty much covering what exercise that someone can do if, if someone's not that active or is mm -hmm. new to exercise. but. Simple is enough as just taking your dog for a walk. Something that's going to get you to sweat is going to increase your heart rate and help your cardiovascular health and start activating the muscles that are turned off or, or weaker from sitting down too much. So an easy thing to do at home is focusing on the, the two muscles that get tight the most from sitting, which are your hamstrings located in the back of your legs mm -hmm. and your piriformis that sits in, in the glute, glute region. Mm -hmm. um, so the simple one to demonstrate here would just be uh, s even sitting down, you can just put one leg in front of the other, keeping it straight the entire time and reaching down as far as you can comfortably, uh, roughly for about 10 seconds or so. Just keeping those muscles mobile is what's gonna help Mm. Oh, that's that's pretty simple. Sure. What about what about the neck? Isn't that where we pull? We have only a couple of minutes, but sure. the, the neck I think is where I usually get it, and maybe from the car accidents. But stress goes right to the of neck. Of course, and, and of course there has to be an individual approach depending on that person's individual <coughs> exactly. needs. Right. Sure. Um, but just a general approach is just focusing on your posture. Uh, the little things we heard growing up make a big difference, yes. and, and keeping good posture will keep balance. That is an excellent point, and I have to be conscious of that all the time. We have just a couple of minutes remaining, but I, I have to tell you, I'm really impressed. Aren't you, Kara? I am. 
with Dr. Uh, Dr. Rob here. It's, it's really exciting to have you Thank here you. on the show, believing in chiropractic, an alternative way, and you accept insurance. We do. That's awesome. We do. Because at one time, you know, the average person it, wasn't able to get... so true. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, Humana, can you name some of them in case our... our uh, Sure. Uh, we are in application with Blue Cross Blue Shield, Humana, UHC, Cigna, um, Workman's Comp as well, Good. and uh, Medicare as well. Medicare as well. So yeah. there you have it. Sure. And uh, if you're uh, suffering from any kind of uh, challenges, whether it be taking a fall, if you're under a lot of stress, if you've had a car accident and you just don't you know, know where to go, Come for a consultation, right, sure. Dr. Rob? Yeah. All sure. right. Absolutely. Well, this is great having you. I'm going to remember to the exercise. I know, right? I bet if you posture like, could rewind, you'd see us both I know, sitting right? up when you said I, that. I know. That's we why we have pillows <laughs> behind us. You are a delight. I can't Thank wait you. to watch you back here. again. All right. So Thank, you Thank you and good luck. New member with yes. West Pasco. So maybe the next time you can come on and share uh, some of the things that you've gotten involved in the community. And you're on Facebook. We are. Awesome. Yeah. He is. We're going to be doing a ribbon cutting. Yay. Yes, we're going to be are. having some, you know, a bigger event coming up. So pay attention to mm -hmm. our Facebook, our West Pasco Chamber of Commerce, and of course our calendar, and and then we'll um, be able to get everybody out there and see your your new office. Awesome. Yeah. Got to take a break. Great. We'll be right back. More right here on My Chamber TV. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly. With me is Kara Graham from the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. I am very excited to introduce Valerie and Sarah from Special Olympics. I'm so glad to have you here. And we have participants surrounding these two gals. Tell us all about this group. This is a great group of people. Special Olympics is a sports and training program for people with intellectual disabilities. Okay. But we also have a unified program. That's why Cameron's here. He actually is a, a, an individual without an intellectual disability that chooses to participate with all our athletes. And it makes our program extra special. Oh, yes, absolutely. But in Pasco, we have over 1,500 athletes that participate year-round in 17 different sports. Really? Exactly. I was going to let Sarah tell you what she does in Special Olympics. All right, Sarah. Hi, my name is Sarah Parker, and I'm part of the Athlete Leadership Committee, and I'm actually the representative of athletes. So I go to leadership meetings and... I also go to management meetings to help represent the athletes and give them an idea of what they need to do and give them a voice so they have to say what they, goes on in their program. And I also compete in Special Olympics in soccer, swimming, and rhythmic gymnastics. Wow. That's fabulous. Congratulations. And how, Thank how you. Lo how long have you been participating? Since 2005 when I was four at the time. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. What an accomplishment. What do you like best about it? I like the unity and peace that it shows between the athletes and it gives us a chance to treat us like normal human beings, not people with disabilities and sideliners, and to give a chance to normal, normalcy no matter what disability we have. That's beautiful. That is, Sarah. That's amazing. That You're like an, an earth angel. <laughs> yeah. You really are. You do, Thank you. You're bringing it all together, right? Yes. All, all our athletes said that. If you ever get the chance to come out to Special Olympics, it's a wonderful event. Mm -hmm. You can see the athletes around me, the partners that have committed their life. It, it gives them an opportunity to come into a place where they feel comfortable and accepted mm -hmm. and show their abilities and not always focus where sometimes we get caught up in the disabilities. We yeah. don't see that. We yeah. see abilities with yeah. this group here. It's an amazing group of athletes. Right. Well, and it's a program that the whole community can get involved in because it's not just the athletes and the partners, but we're always looking for volunteers. Yes. Um, so we can get everyone involved in our program. Now, Valerie, how long have you been involved? I've been involved 34 years. 34 years. Yes. We're it's, talking. Yeah. This, it's the greatest job <laughs> in the world. I get to work with all these athletes and partners, oh. and um, it's just something, a program that always gives back. I've always said they always have given me more than I could ever give them, oh. and um, I truly believe that. That's, that's beautiful. We want everybody to come out and enjoy and appreciate and see what they have to offer. So how, in how intensive are the um, the Olympics? I mean, what what are we talking about? Exercise and and all the performances that they have to go through. Is there a Do lot? Do we of like to compete, training? guys? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's about the competition. It's just not a one day event anymore. A lot of people still okay. think it's that one field day. They they train year round, year -round. and they take their sports seriously. You know, whether it's rhythmic gymnastics or soccer, or flag football or swimming, they train and they compete. And their ultimate goal is to get the blue ribbon because if they get the blue ribbon, hopefully they get to go to the state games. And that means usually a night or two at a hotel. And a lot of our athletes don't get to experience the, you know, going away on the weekend by themselves. And when they're there, they, they have the opportunity to not only compete and win medals, they, they make new friends, they, you know, they have some sort of independence, and it's a big deal for them. You know, we as coaches, Cameron also coaches our swim team. We work and work and work and train and train, and then you know when we get back, it's like, well, what was about the best part about the competition? The dance and the pizza party. <laughs> ah, sign that's me what up. it's all about. It's, a, it's just a program for everyone, and um, just something that you know has meant the world to me, and it's changed my life, and um, it's just. A, it's a warms your heart to be around all these athletes. Well, I can I could just feel your sense of accomplishment, and you too, Sarah. You guys are really awesome. Um, Thank you. The amount of years that you committed to that was there. Do you have a personal story? What got you involved with this? I, Either one yeah. of you. Well, I was kind of four when I first started, so I did not remember how I joined since I was so young. But the impact it has in my life, it made me more much more mobile and much more social. I am currently a member of Mitchell's High School's National Honor Society at my school. And I made homecoming court this year. Well, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. And you're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Look at 
You are just beautiful. So well spoken. She's, I, she's I more well spoken than I you always know. say. The athletes speak better than I do, and that's no. <laughs> <laughs> they're amazing. Yeah, and that's what our leadership group here is. That's what they're learning to do is to go out to clubs and organize organizations and speak and advocate for their program. Yes. Um, as part of the leadership group, they kind of tell me what they'd like to see in their program, whether it's uniforms, right. better food, better signage. They tell me, and it's my job to do it. Well, that's great. So how did you get involved? What, what caused you to get involved with this? I actually got involved Bellamy. by accident. Mm. Um, I I'd had a different direction in life. I wanted to be a high school um, basketball coach and eventually a college coach. And I um, couldn't find a job. And then a professor at University of South Florida told me, why don't you try Adaptive PE? We think you'd be great. We'll give you an internship right now. And I was like, well, what's that? And it ended up being my niche. It was working with people with special needs, teaching PE. And then, of course, Special Olympics went hand in hand. And here I am 34 years later, and it was a wonderful career. No accident. <laughs> no accident. That is true. That is true. No. Oh, this is great. Carrie, you brought in a great great bunch here today. Oh, thank you. They're all winners. You guys were all born winners, and Absolutely. now you're out there to show it. <laughs> I do. love that. Every day. Yes. Yep. I feel like I want to know what the gentleman in the back's um, what your medal was for? Uh, swimming. Oh. Swimming. He doesn't I was have, a swimmer. He doesn't have That's a mic. my sport. What, what is that? He for? said swimming, and but um, what about football? What position do you play? I'm the quarterback. He's the quarterback. quarterback. He's playing quarterback. Fantastic. All right. At practice, he writes all the football plays for the team. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you can see these guys. They are really passionate about what they're doing. Now, what is? When is the next event coming up? We just had our county summer games last week. We uh -huh. had um, 600 athletes at River Ridge High School, and then we turned around and had mm -hmm. 585 at Wesley Chapel High School. Wow. This Saturday, many of our athletes are going to compete in Pinellas County um, in, in track and field, soccer skills, bocce, and tennis. And in about a month, we have our area soccer tournament where we'll, we'll host about 30 soccer teams from the area over wow. in Land Lakes. Wow. So, Yes, we, we do have a big fundraiser coming up, too. We have on St. Patrick's Day, if you want to start out healthy. Awesome. It all benefits Special Olympics. It's a 5K and one-mile fun run. We start at the Newport Ritchie Recreation Center and finish back there to music and fun. Oh, boy, that does sound exciting. Yeah. Well, good for you guys. I, this is so great. I now, I wanted to ask, in case any of our viewers are wanting to how to, how to get involved. We would love for you. You can contact me at Val Valerie Lundin. My phone number is 727-774-3062. Our email is vlundeen at specialolympicspasco.org. That's exciting. And all of that information is in our um, directory on our website and then also the book that we have. So all of that's in there, or if you don't have access to that, just call us. And we have a Facebook, um, yes. um, www.specialolympicspasco. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah. just so exciting. I wanted to make sure that I got this in before Thank I you. had a had a directive to go to the next <laughs> break or what have you. So this goes year round. These guys are and gals are in training year round. Year round. Ah, very so it good. sounds like you have different sport Olympics per. Okay, yeah. so it's yeah, not all like you said. It's not right. one day anymore. Where like you Cor said, a field day. It's Correct. Each okay. season has three levels of competition. We have to have our county games here in Pasco. Okay. Then we compete in our area, which is Pasco, Pinellas, Citrus, Sumter, and Hernando. Okay. And then their ultimate goal is to get to the state games. And that which is a lot there. of times at Disney's Wide World of Sports where they actually compete on, you know, premier facilities there at Disney. That's and that's just, you know, a great opportunity for our athletes. Have you been to state, yes. Sarah? Yes, I yes, had a I feeling. Have. I had a and feeling. And now this year I'm going even higher to state to regionals in Marietta, Georgia for rhythmic mm. gymnastics. Wow, congratulations. Look at her, eye, her eyes just like light, light right up. She's just sparkling with excitement. You absolutely deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that's what great. What a wonderful program. How long is your routine? About 45 seconds and there's like four different routines. You do four different routines, 45 seconds, and I bet hours and hours and hours of training, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot of memorization. Yes. <clears throat> That's half a rhythmic gymnastics game. You have to memorize it, and then you have to be able to do the movements. Right. And we train very hard. We have, like, once-a-week practices every Wednesday, and we work very hard to do what we do best. It's not so easy. 
it's as, it's as just as much competition as any other sport. Like, you know how other kids train for their sports, mm -hmm. regular kids? Mm -hmm. We train hard for our sports here in Special Olympics. Would you say mm -hmm. you have to put double the effort, triple the effort? We put as, as much effort as we could to do our very best in competition. In Special Olympics, it doesn't matter about winning. It's all about having fun and showing great sportsmanship and pride in what you do. Mm -hmm. Well said, yes. my dear, beautiful yes. Sarah. Yes. And that you. is I the honest They can teach truth. us a lot more than I, I can teach them. You, isn't that and the truth? It's absolutely. It's, it's, yep. Gosh, I wish our show was longer. I could sit and talk <laughs> to all you guys all day long. This is a, a learning experience for myself, too, because an accomplishment for these folks is like an accomplishment. It so is. no wonder yeah. they're so proud of what they're able to do. And they're and such a happy group. It's so much fun to be around them. You know, you can't be in a bad mood. Look at oh, no. these smiles. I know. You can't get the best job in the world. You really do. You really do. <laughs> that you is know. fabulous. Yeah. So um, anything else you can share as far as children that aren't involved with anything like this? What would you recommend to parents or grandparents out there to have them consider? Mm -hmm. And is there, like... Obviously, Sarah started when she was four? We actually have levels of, um, of programs that, in Special Olympics. Um, we have a young athletes program where we start our athletes from ages two to seven. Wow. And they learn basic skills like throwing, catching, balance, yes. those kind of things. Because in order to participate in the program, you have to hit the magic age of, age of eight. And okay. so when they turn that magic age, they're ready to compete in the team sports or the individual sports. They have those skills that they've acquired in the Young Athletes Program to be successful wow. in um, other sports as ah. far as so. We start from two years old until they decide not to participate. We welcome everybody. It's a great program. Like I said, it's for our athletes, for our partners. They get just as much as our athletes get from of the course. program. Um, our athletes just love the partners. They, they have instant work. friends. Um, absolutely amazing program. And um, we just have something for everyone. Like I said, we offer volunteerism for the community. Yeah. It's, um, we are always looking for sponsors because the program can be very expensive. It takes a lot to, you know, make sure these athletes, they have proper uniforms, transportation, food, sure. all those things, you know, that it takes to have a successful program. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and let you know that, yes, you can help sponsor. You can get a hold of Valerie again. Uh, what is your number? 727-774-3062. I think this is fantastic. Thank you, you for too. having us. Oh, thank you so much yeah. for having us. You're very welcome. welcome. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Well, rock on. And yes. thanks for joining us here on My Chamber TV. This is really a I great know. segment to really raise the awareness on what's happening in your community right here on WeBeam TV and featuring our fabulous West Pasco. We actually air here every single month yes. once a month and we bring people like this mm -hmm. on member how long have you been a member before i forget with uh the pet two Pans years two years oh i apologize i apologize this is our first year this yeah. is your first yes. okay our first year yes. okay okay and so you get involved obviously with the communities to raise right. the awareness right. not That's just here on the tv exactly because yeah. right. we you know we belong to the community right. yes you do we are so supported in pasco it's amazing how many fans that we have a special olympics it, oh. it just keeps us humble that's right. that's wonderful. Yeah. I think they keep us balanced and in alignment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Well, congratulations, you Thank guys. You. All right. Thank you. We're going to be right you. back. More here on My Chamber TV.
Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hollox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Welcome into my chamber TV. Barbara Marville here with Kara Graham, West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. We were just having a very interesting conversation with Demetrios Capitanopoulos. Perfect. That oh, was perfect. amazing. I only practiced that about four times. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us about City Subs and More. City Subs and More is a new place we just opened up. It's a new concept. We've been in the restaurant business forever. And uh, we thought we'd, uh, we, well, we had partially retired, and then we decided we can't really retire, so we'd have to go back into business. So we opened up a City Subs at, uh, on Grand and Gulf. Oh. And we specialize in oven-baked subs. They are amazing. Oven-baked subs. Everything we do is going through a uh, conveyor oven. Everything's warm? Everything's warm. It, it's it's no not cold. warm, it's hot. Ah. You can have cold subs, but we don't. You know, we don't suggest that. It's, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it's different when it goes through the oven and it comes out and then the, the meat is melted a little bit. You know, it's got a little crisp on it and the juice starts flowing and out of it and stuff like that. It's, it's a big so difference. Good. Oh, you're it's making so me hungry. I, that, that's comfort food. <laughs> Absolutely. So give us some, uh, what, do you have any subs that are like really different? Well, we have one we call the Steve Signature, which is a chicken Alfredo <gasps> with bacon <gasps> and mozzarella cheese on it. Yeah. And that's baked through the oven. Uh, we have one that we have a following from Clearwater. People actually come up from South Clearwater for it. It's called a Crazy Greek. It's our spin of the Cuban. Ooh. So it has ham, Genoa salami, roast pork, but we top it off with lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and our secret sauce. Awesome. Crazy Yum. Greek sauce. John's asking, how come we don't have some food here to show that? Get those get those shots in didn't next know, time. Did, didn't know. Ooh. Otherwise, I would have brought some. Absolutely. Yeah, because you're not here. You're here. You're Right up the street. Absolutely. Oh my good. Now see that really piques my interest. If I think about mm -hmm. subs, that it I mean, I know there's great ones out there and I, I don't mean to offend anybody, mm -hmm. and if you love subs, that's great, but these are subs. This is an experience, right? Absolutely, absolutely. These are these are baked subs. You can go anywhere and get a sub. Mm -hmm. But it's usually cold or mm -hmm. it's microwaved mm -hmm. or it's put in a toaster oven. And you can taste that. Oh yeah, it's a big difference. Yeah, so big oven difference. oven baked is way different. Way different. Way and different. so you, it says here city subs and more. What else? Well, we have Greek salads, we okay. have um, hamburgers, hot dogs, mm -hmm. and we added the more because we're slowly going to just make more things. We're going to add mm -hmm. more things to the menu. As, as we see what people ask for and stuff like that, we do a daily soup every day. Yeah? We, we, we make a fresh soup every day. So Awesome. And they deliver. And, and they we deliver. do, absolutely. And they deliver, they John. Deliver. <laughs> <laughs> we had um, one of our committees, we order, we order in lunch, and we had them order one time, and now every time they order. We used to kind of try to disperse it out among members, but that's our go-to now for that Whoa, committee. That's, that's so awesome. Good. I'm glad And the to portions hear that. are ginormous. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, really? You won't go away hungry. Yes. Oh. Some places you go to and you, and you open up a sandwich and it's all wrapped and stuff yeah. like that. We have special containers we put them in. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all wrapped and then when you open them up, you, you see a piece of bread. Oh. And then you got to peel it open yeah. and see how much meat you get. And there's there. just a little tiny bit. Right. right. Oh, so. see, I'm sold already yeah. just by the way yeah. you're describing it. So how long have you been in business with this? this um... We had uh, City Sub, we opened in August. Yes. Uh, we've been in business. We were doing tremendous. Right off the bat, we were, we were going sky high, and all of a sudden we get hit by Irma. Oh, yeah. boy. And that caused us to close for about 10 days because we couldn't get our bread from our bakery. Our bakery had no power. Oh, yes. 
So that really, okay. really hurt us. Of course. And uh, as, as things got back to, you know, going back to normal, we're, we're doing fine. Everything's going back up, 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 up the hill. Mm -hmm. We get smacked last, uh, a couple of weeks ago with a, from a drunk driver. He hit our building and closed, <laughs> us, down, closed us down that. for a few days. So it was, it's been a one, two. Hopefully there won't be a three punch. Oh, I hope not. I <laughs> hope not. Well, God bless you. You, you just keep coming back. Absolutely. And that just Absolutely. shows that you've got what it takes to have a, a great business that is desired by people. Yeah. I can't I can't wait to try those. Absolutely. You need to. It's so good. You'll have to come up real soon. Absolutely. Or order a delivery. We'll bring it up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, what, and that was one of the reasons we, I mean, they're open. They're open. They're open. We yes, keep, we are. I, I, based on the video from it, you wouldn't have thought you guys would have been able to. And, and we were sad. Our community was sad. We, mm -hmm. And um, for all the reasons you just said, just, as, you know, local business trying to start and go and get stopped and then start and go. Right. Um, but they're open. They opened. We are. We're definitely two open. Two days later. So. Two days later. Well, that shows three tenacity. Days, three days it does. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You, just, does. you just come right back. Oh, yeah. Get oh, yeah. back on and ride, never you know? Stop. Never stop. Yeah. Never Good stop. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. And we're open Monday through Saturday from 1030 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. So there's plenty of hours for people to show up. Oh, yes. absolutely. We've got a little bit of outside seating. We're planning on getting beer and wine, so we were going to make a little, you know, a little, little, little go-to spot mm -hmm. for sure. the evenings and stuff like that. So. That's yeah. n that's nice. Where are you originally from? Originally from Chicago. Yeah. But I've been here since forever. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here since I was twelve. So. So oh, so you've had your businesses here. Yes. Oh. Well, Isn't there a story behind the subs in sh Chicago? Like your your story. Well, like our story is my my father f was one of the first people that manufactured the Yido meat for restaurants in Chicago. Really? Yeah. He started out as a, he started out, when he came over from, from Europe, he started out as a dishwasher. Then he went and got a job at a pizza restaurant. And then he went from there and from working at a pizza restaurant, he says, you know, let's go open up our own place. And he opens up his own place. We bought out an American diner. He turned that into a pizza shop because that's what he knew. And... A couple of years down the road, he turns it into a, a, a Yido shop because there were none in Chicago. Oh, and, niche. And, and if anybody knows, well, not many people don't know this, but the only actual manufacturers of the Yido meat are from Chicago. How about that? I didn't they, know that. They, they, they've spread out through the years. Now there's one in Ohio and there might be one in New York, but okay. it, it originated in Chicago. Very nice. Right. Every, oh. Everybody has a story. Absolutely. So Absolutely. that's great. So, so you're keeping on family tradition. We're trying. In a sense. We're trying. We're yeah. trying. Well, we, we, we moved here in 76, and we, um, we opened up a restaurant, sold it, opened up another restaurant, and then my dad goes, you know, there's no Yido down here. So he opened up a manufacturing company. We did that for about 18 years. Wow. We had, what an entrepreneur. We had, we had over 400 accounts. We went from as far up as Chiefland all the way down to Boca, this coast and the other coast. Wow. Over to Daytona. So. Wow. You know, the restaurant business is not easy. No. So congratulations Definitely on all right. those wins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of wins. <laughs> yeah. I well, love to hear that. A few that. losses, too, though. <laughs> well, you know, that goes without saying every, every now and again. But, uh, yeah, you just, like, get back up and keep on going. Absolutely. So um, you've been a member with the West Pasco mm -hmm. since... Since we opened. Since they opened. Since, since after, you opened. Just after mm -hmm. we opened. Since you opened. And how, how's it working for you with West, West Pasco? I know you've had a few little, you know... We love it. We love mm -hmm. it. We, we see it as the next up and coming. We really do because yeah. anywhere in Pinellas County you go, it's not overpopulated, but it's oversaturated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, us opening here is, is we're seeing it as, as this is, this is going to boom. Oh, yeah. This is really going to boom. Exactly. Because West Pasco is booming itself of it just the downtown it area. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. just, it's, I mean, I raised my boys up here a number of years ago and there was, it wasn't anything like it is now. No, no, no. no. So that's, no. that's All really All the festivals fabulous. and the parades and stuff yes. like that, that helps everything. Yeah. That's, you know, yes. we're looking forward to it. We're going to get caught right in the middle of it on Saturday. Absolutely. Great What's happening Saturday? Day. Chasco Parade. Chasco Parade. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Right and they all, all the parades start at golf. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right. So we're right there where it starts. So right hopefully there. Hopefully that's going to be, you know, a good thing. Well, the weather should be good, right? Let's hope so. Oh, yeah. Let's this hope is so. great weather be. right now. I can't remember. Not too uh, hot. Well, it's not, it's not like up north, so we're fine. <laughs> I know. Yeah. They're getting Plus hit it's again. like last night. We got that rain out of nowhere. So. I know. Yeah. I know. But it was just a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm excited that. to talk to you about this, and we'll have to... 
definitely place some orders with you. Absolutely. And, uh, and when We're you go in, his yeah. beautiful bride is always smiling at this. She is. She's the uh, sweetest, and you're she usually is. back she there is. cooking. I'm yeah. always behind so behind a glass is. in the kitchen. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you never you don't you never get bored with it, or you wouldn't have kept opening up more. No, more. we don't get bored with it. It's something that's in our blood. So you oh, really yeah. can't. Even if you want to, you can't get out of it. You know, you get out of yeah. it for a little bit, then you're like, well. That's I what can, you know. I'm yeah. going back. You can exactly. totally walk in back. there. Autopilot. I'm Autopilot. Back. I'm going back. Get, a, yeah. get those yeah. hot oven subs yeah. going yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, good for you. you. Know, we, we, another, th another point I'd like to make, though, is we don't pre-make everything, anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you, if you order something, it's not going to be taken under, up from underneath the heat lamp, and here's your sandwich. So it, it takes a little bit longer for us to make something. Right. So if you're in a hurry, right. please, you know, keep that, you know, consider that that it's not it's it's made to order as 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 we're as you're ordering it. And I'm glad that you're saying that because I, I don't know about you, but I can always tell when something's been sitting. Oh yeah. And even when you go into the oh, yes. deli at, at some of the the stores, I mean, unless it's fresh, I don't know. Am I a princess? No, no, I, no. I, I just want no, my no, food. Not at all. Fresh. No, not at all. Why? Why Absolutely. wouldn't you want it fresh when it's available? It's, exactly. It's easily available. Exactly. It's, it's easily doable. So yeah. why wouldn't you want it fresh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So what's your favorite? Uh, I like the Parthenon. Believe it or not, it's a combination of ham, salami, and pepperoni. Yeah. It's our version of the Italian. Oh. And we can't call it an Italian because we're Greek, and then the Italians would get upset at us. Because so, your last name ends in S and not I, so there's that. <laughs> so, so we call it the Parthenon. I love it. But we've got a, a, a special sauce. Uh, it's called a crazy Greek sauce mm -hmm. that we put on top of all the sandwiches that have uh, cold vegetables. Because you can get it, you can go to any sandwich shop, a sub shop or whatever, and get something with lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and stuff like that. On right. It, and it tastes like lettuce, onions, tomatoes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, well, we've developed a sauce that we also use as our dressing for, the, for our salads. Oh. God. That we Ooh. put on top of the sandwiches that really, really knocks it out of the park. See, that really piques my interest <coughs> because you're doing something different. You're being innovative. Right. What's your favorite? Um, I the uh, what was the name of the first one with the chicken Alfredo? The Steve uh, we signature. had that at the ribbon cutting. I they did have a that. sample of everything Ooh. for us, and it was amazing. Oh, that's thank you, thank you, thank you. Yum! That's exciting. We make Greek salads there. We make our own potato salad. We put potato salad in our Greek salad. All so. right. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Well, Demetrius, the thank you. It's to be done. Yeah, I think I so. Yeah. We've got to take a break. I could sit and talk to you about food all day. Now Absolutely. I'm starving. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you and good thank luck. You. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hollox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly and with me is Kara Graham. What a great show we've had today. We did. We it's really been did. really good. Those Special Olympics, I, I, I mean, my heart was just going out to those kids. I cannot believe how well spoken Sarah was. I know, I she mean, was so succinct. If we could, if I could get my kids to be that passionate at this you know, without staring at their phone or their Xbox or something and be that passionate and, mm -hmm. you know, persevering and well-spoken. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. it's amazing. And amazing. and they, they have challenges. They have disability challenges, and yet they they just forge forward. I know. So it, that was great. It really was. Dr. Testefano, the chiropractor that grew yes. up here, moved away, came back here to open yes, up his practice. Which I love, I love. And then Demetrius, that, I mean, I'm hungry now I, after, oh, after so the good too. City Subs, uh, so that little good. presentation. So what's coming up in West Pasco? We have um, lots of things going on mm -hmm. this coming week. So Chasco starts Friday. Um, that's not, you know, the chamber does not put that on, but we do have our bowling and our mm -hmm. golf tournament um, in the week of it. So Tuesday okay. the 13th is the um, West Pasco Chambers Young Professional Group Bowling Tournament. Okay. That is on Tuesday evening. We still have um, lanes open for teams. It's $160 for a team of four. Okay. It's a great time. We have uh, dessert tables. Um, we have 50-50. Uh, the you know king and queen will be there. Of course, J. David will be around stalking us. Taking, taking pictures. pictures. <laughs> stalking. <laughs> and I don't know. He's my stalker. <laughs> um, so we're doing that on Tuesday. That's a great... It's one of the... Um, it probably is the biggest fundraiser that um, the Young Professionals Group does, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's like a well-oiled machine now. So um, we also volunteers for that, of course. If anybody can't play or doesn't want to play and just wants to come hang out, it's at mm -hmm. Lane Glow um, South, which is on Old Fifty Four okay. in Newport Ritchie. It's just it's a it's a really good time. Then Friday is the West Pasco Chambers Golf Tournament, and we have a few team spots left for that. Um, I don't, the time is, uh, it's a shotgun start. I don't, it's earlier. Um, we also need volunteers for that that need to be there about 10 o'clock. You can contact Liz um, at westpasco.com, Liz at westpasco.com if you're interested in any volunteering opportunities or to sign up for a team. All the information's online. Um, it's, again, not um, our thing going on, but I know we'll, we'll all be there, is Saturday is the um, Chasco Street Parade. Friday, everything kicks off with the coronation ball and the festival, but we just, we all get to go run and play on And Saturday. that is a big deal. How long has that been going on here in West Pasco? So the story behind it, I don't, a long time. It's 40 some years consecutively. It started and then it stopped for a while and then it was brought back. Um, but we had, when they do their past king and queen you know, um, the celebrations when they get together like they did this year, you see some of, you know, the, they come from way back. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to see the pictures yes. and learn the story. Yes. And, and what a prestigious thing. You know, it's a philanthropist in our community. Um, the mm -hmm. nominees it come is. from our nonprofits, you know, our, uh, that are here in our community. They nominate somebody and they there's a committee um, that, you know, chooses the new one. As we know, the shoes to fill this year are ginormous. Yes. Um, I know how that yes. feels coming in behind something like that. So yes. um, 
but you know best wishes to um, Angel and you know Kim they've been amazing and looking forward to the next you know year and the person that leads me into that is our honorary governor because <coughs> they get to wear the fun hat when it's all said and done and hang out with the king and queen um, as a you know dignitary and be a part of the West Pasco. So that is a Pasco, West Pasco Chamber um, you know, function that we have going on as fundraiser. We have three candidates. We have our very own John Gaston mm -hmm. with Tampa Bay uh, Multimedia running for Pepin Academies. Very exciting. Um, and we have Steve Shardell running for CARES. And our uh, Kayla Cooling, one of our young professionals, is running for Good Samaritan. That's so, so great. I know. Three really amazing candidates. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. We're really proud that John has stepped out. Me too. He, he's very passionate about the Academy. And that's I was so glad to see that me he's too. doing that. We have a big bottle here that we're stashing. <laughs> now, and forgive me for not, there's so many things going on. Do you guys have a fundraiser set up yet for... His, you know, something that's going on or, you know. John's actually working out of the studio here okay. with it and wherever he can raise funds is what he's doing. And Beautiful. I'm one, he's one, he's not running people to death. We love it. We, um, but I do know in two weeks from today, mm -hmm. on the 21st, I believe, um, the candidates will be here yes. for a special My Chamber TV segment. That's so, right. You'll get a chance to meet everybody. Yes. And, uh. I'm it's excited be about great. that. I'm going to yeah. be. Really, it, it, three yeah. of my like favorite people, and I'm, I'm not even just saying that. So um, I'm really excited about that. Um, so that we have a couple months to you know raise mm -hmm. funds for those amazing mm -hmm. nonprofits in our community. So uh, Kayla had one on Monday um, for with at Good Sam where there were tours, and mm -hmm. so that was um, that's amazing. And, and she's been and, on the show before. Kayla. 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 Yes, Wonderful. from the library. Yes. Yes. Kayla. Yep. Yeah, Kayla's ever. She was here at our our. our uh, Grand o or not our grand opening, but our, we had a uh, outside the chamber uh, mm -hmm. ribbon cutting and open house, and the studio was she, packed. She was, and I felt yes. you know, So we had a last minute invitation. The Central Pasco Chamber has a new location, new office, and it's a beautiful office. And we had a last minute invite to come and do the ribbon cutting with them. So um, you know we're kind of a united front with them. So I wanted to go out there and do that, but I had planned on being here, and I felt terrible. But you had a, a really uh, good we turnout. We did, we did, and we did. But you, I mean, look I what you do here in the show. So. You can only do so much, I right? Was just, right. I was going and making friends everywhere. You know, I so. know you are. You are a social just butterfly for the chamber, and we're we're lucky to have you. Thank you. Uh, two minutes, John. Um, anything else you want to share? Uh, Friday we had we get to, we're having our breakfast brochure exchange okay. at the um, Park and Rec Aquatic Center in Newport Ritchie. They um, with their remodel and renovations and you know additions they did. We are in the Palm Room there. Oh, um, good for that. So that's gonna be fun and to have tours of that. So if anybody yes. hasn't been able to see the new things they're doing there, oh, that will that, be amazing. That's very good. Isn't that what so. we we had here? We right last month. Yes, and the yes. breakfast one. We you know we we hop around and move around. Yes. Um, we'd love to do it here again though because we had a really really good response and I know we everybody had. loves to go to a TV studio well, they're in awe yeah I mean well and it's just amazing here anyways because yeah. I mean they're just amazed at how professional everything is so well, thank um, you yeah you're welcome and I you know a couple ribbon cuttings check the calendar westpasco.com all of our everything is on there mm -hmm. um, Facebook very active on that um, and you know yours as well I mean all of the community any one of us if you friend me I'll be your friend and you can find everything you know, that's going on. So that's specifically what it's for. Care is everybody's so friend. I, Trust know, me. We and it's it just you know we put it out there. We I, I but I think Patty at the office knows more. She's our new like Pasco County chat. I don't know if she's like, do you know this is going on and that? So she's I love anything. It. It's her too. I so. love it. Yeah. Well, we have just a few seconds remaining, and we want to thank you for joining us on My Chamber TV. We will be back next Wednesday, same time, same place. We will be featuring the Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce. And mark your calendar for the next week, because we are going to do the debates and all the kind of fun mm -hmm. things that we do for honorary governor. I'm looking forward I to that. I am, too. That's going to be all fun. All right. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.